going on YouTube? I filmed this just after the last kind of vlog part I did for what I think will be um, a full day of back and biceps. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. It would have been the video before this one, I believe. But this is going to be um, a recap on like what happened last night. I'm just at the front of the gym right now. And before I took my, before I take my pre-workout down here, I thought it'd be a good idea to just talk about it because it's a pretty good workout. Two and a half hours it actually took. Some people might say it's too much volume, but I mean, if, if you like being there, you're enjoying it, why go home early? It's just silly. So yeah, I love my volume. Um, yeah, right now, just about to go and hit back and biceps. But last night after the Adelaide Fitness Expo, me and the boys were all keen to, you know, go hit the gym after watching bodybuilders and stuff. So we went actually to here, Blackwood Fitness. We said it'll be at five o'clock, okay? We've got about four, and now to get ready. We all rock up at five. Turns out it's it's all shut. It's 24 hours if you have a, um, if you have a membership, but two of them didn't, only two of us do, me and Tom. So we end up, luckily, um, Jono's dad owns a gym, New World in the city. So I'm already pinging off pre work it because I thought it would be a good idea to take it as I'm driving here. Turns out it was a very bad idea. I'm sitting here pinging and, um, yeah, drove in, free fun car ride into the city to this very, very expensive gym. I think the minimum price, I believe, is like $1,500 for a year. And it goes higher than that, so it's pretty extreme. Uh, sick workout, and we've got some, just a few clips, which will be good for progress by episode, episode three. Progress by overload, episode three, that was real bad. But yeah, that's probably what you're watching right now. And uh, I'll just talk quickly about what happened. So I'll try and put the clips up if I remember what I have exactly. So I started from the bench press after we you know, warmed up and stuff and I went for my two plate again, which is what I'm at right now. Always trying to continually push a little bit higher up the weight, up the reps. So last time I hit four with the spot, headphones in, in the zone here at Blackwood and I hit four again last night at New World. Come on. <laughs> so I'm back at home, had to cut the uh, clip short, but anyway, I'll keep going with what I was up to. So I hit four of two plate, which is 100 kilos or 220 pounds uh, last night at New World. Now, that wasn't really an upgrade. I wasn't as in the zone as I, as I was um, the last time I hit it. I didn't have headphones or things like that, new environment. But I hit four and I wasn't really happy for it. Like I, I had in my mind going in there that I was gonna hit five, but that didn't happen. So what I did was then I went for, like the whole idea of this series is to overload the body, like do more and more. Even the slightest amount is improvement every week. Like just, just improving every time. Not every time, but you get the idea. Like consistently trying to. So what I did is I went for another set. This time I hit three and then I just dropped the weight back, finished off with um I believe three sets of eight. Okay, so this time although I didn't do more reps, I did hit another set and then finish off just with uh normal kind of the mass building ratio. It's like eight to twelve reps. So that was really good. Then we moved on to hit uh, the other body parts like triceps and shoulders and just as usual. And that's about it other than that. So the moral of this story or episode is to, um, even though like you don't improve every time, because that's not going to happen. That's you, you can't expect to every single week you go in there, every chest, um, every chest exercise, add, up, add weight to the bar or add another rep. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. 
but it's not something you should be expecting every time. So that I didn't improve this time when it comes to reps, um, I didn't, you know, go backwards either. We're still up nice and strong, sitting at our new uh, PR, personal record weight, and every time I go in there, I'm going to test if I can push past that, or if I can't, then just drop it back, make sure, you know, I get my volume in, and keep my calories up, and before I know it, hopefully my body will, you know, be ready to tackle the weight again the next time, and this time get another rep or so, or add a bit more weight. So that's the whole point of what we're doing, whole point of this uh, this series, and that'll wrap up this video. Probably be a shorter one, but um, yeah, just filling in, bringing along on the journey of progression by overload, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Really do it, then get a ten, easy. Like, I'd struggle to get a ten.